I'm inside the Ohio State locker room standing next to Braxton Miller's locker. Obviously a key player in tonight's game. Our blueprint starts with offensive coordinator Tom Herman telling us why a certain pass play was called at the exact right time a week ago against Michigan. Obviously, Braxton Miller was a key part of that play. Coach, sometimes you just call the perfect play against the perfect defense. On this down and distance in this situation throughout the game, they had been giving us some corner blitz. And behind their corner blitz, it was a little bit different than a lot of people. They would just play the safety to the boundary man to man on the single receiver and still play their quarters defense to the field. So that left the Will linebacker man to man on the tight end. That linebacker also has run. He also has a run. He's got That's a run the gap. problem. That's the problem. So you try to put him in a run pass conflict, which we did. And now you, you can see the safety go, oh boy. I know I got to go cover him, but there's a, another white jersey running straight down the field. So Michigan State's defense, one of the best in the country, without question. Well, let's look at a play from last year. We're going to look at a six man pressure and, and let's relive this play. Number nine here, who's standing on the line bluffing blitz, is actually the center field deep middle safety, if you can believe it or not. The two hash safeties are the ones that spin down, and their job in this coverage is to basically eye the quarterback. All five guys in the secondary are reading the QB's eyes. You can tell by the stripe on their helmet. The thing that Michigan State has done well is that they have really enhanced a zone pressure out of the six-man pressure. And it's off of a three-deep concept, but there's only two guys underneath, and every single guy is looking at the quarterback. Coach, you often hear people say it was a back shoulder throw. Mm -hmm. First of all, explain to us what that is and tell us how Braxton does it. On any deep ball, I tell the quarterbacks, if the defender is even or on top of your receiver, when you are ready to throw, then you can throw a paintball. We don't ever talk about shoulders, because when you talk about back shoulder in the, the media and uh, TV people like to say, oh, it's a back shoulder throw, because that's usually where the guy catches it. Uh, but he catches it there because we're aiming at his helmet, and we tell him we want to scrape the paint off the top of his helmet. I tell the quarterbacks all the time that one-on-one -on -one is not covered. There's no such thing as covered when it's one-on-one -on -one because timing and ball placement win every time. They win every time. How does the wide receiver know you're throwing the paintball? He doesn't. He adjusts because of the ball, the placement of the ball. That's pretty cool. Take, yeah. us, take us through this one sure. against Wisconsin. We were trying to get Philly matched up with the uh, quarter safety on a little nod post. You can see the fake kind of takes his eyes over here to make sure that the safety comes down. And he realizes that corner has gone so far inside that he can then throw it right at the helmet of Devin Smith. One of the better throws of his career, by the way, Coach D. Really? Yeah, I, I was so proud of him after that. 